Hi guys, and welcome to the Hardcore Series. Now, the Hardcore Series has actually been around, or the Hardcore Challenge has been around now for quite a long time. I'd almost say 18 months to two years, and it was started by Deadly Slob, uh, an OG of the Tarkov scene. And I'll put a link directly down below right now. Uh, if you haven't checked out his YouTube content, you should definitely be doing that. Uh, he developed the Hardcore Series, and over the over the time and, and seasons, it's uh, it's been turned into whatever the beast it is now today. Now, I decided I was going to do a hardcore series over a very condensed period of time on Twitch, and then I would upload it to you guys on YouTube. So then that way, uh, if anyone could miss a day, would be able to find out, find the gaps or watch the gaps. And these episodes are going to be quite long. I'm going to be probably putting out a one to two hour video every single day for around 30 days. I'm probably going to film about 60 hours of footage. Um, so I'm going to try and make it fit in there. And I'll only be cutting... Uh, loading screen so you guys can just skip past that part and get straight into all the the inventory management and the action inside the raids now the premise behind the hardcore challenge is it's more about probably what the vision that we see nikita would actually like escape from tarkov to be this really hardcore survival simulator um but it's obviously not what the game current state of the game is um but it is definitely a very interesting way to play the game very punishing Extremely punishing. Every death is extremely, extremely punishing. You're going to see that. Now, I'm going to quickly go through the rule system uh, so you guys can understand it. Now, the first rule, you cannot purchase equipment from dealers and market with money. So you can't use the flea market at all. You can't go to each of the traders and buy any of the items from there, except for the next rule, which is you are allowed to barter for equipment. So if you find, say, a couple of white tape in raid, you could barter trade that from therapist for a car med kit. Rule number three is no flea market at all. That's not for barter trades. That's not for selling items, for buying items, nothing. You cannot use the flea market at all. Number four is secure container only for keys. Now, there is a caveat to this, and I'll explain it. So uh, if you find a key in raid, you can put it straight into the secure container. Because keys are so hard to find, you need to find them to jackets or spawns within the game. However, the, the exception to this rule is, for example, if I found a item that is two squares and I've only got my pockets available because I've gone in with just a melee weapon, I can stand still, pick up, say, a Salewa, and I would be able to heal with that item and, and then throw it back on the ground from there. It's, it's, it's replicating picking up an item, holding it in your hands, using it, and then throwing it back down. So that's the only caveat to the rule, and I'll make that like clear right here so you don't get confused because you'll see it happen from time to time now i am using an, a gamma container um, but i'm only going to be using the four squares of the alpha container uh, it's just the fact that i do this on an edge of darkness account so i have the increased stash space but the uh the we used to use just an alpha container the problem was the um alpha containers are no longer for sale on fence so i can't just buy one at the start rule number five mission specific items can be bought using cash stacks now, uh, to make this clear, this is the the jammers, the the markers, what else? We've got the Wi-Fi cameras, any of those sp mission-specific items where you need to go do a certain thing, place an item down or whatever, like mark an item, uh, they can only really be found on the traders. They can be purchased using cash. Six, Terra Labs has no limitations. If you find a key, you can just go into labs whenever you feel like it. Seven, no scavenger raids at all. Eight, only play with hardcore players. So I know Deadly Slob did his hardcore challenge, Markstrom, and there's many other content creators out there that have done hardcore challenges. If I was going to play with someone else, I'd have to duo with someone doing a hardcore account as well. Number nine, no assistance from friends or community. Now, obviously, I stream on Twitch and I'll be talking to Twitch chat whilst I'm doing it, but this means direct assistance, like someone coming into a raid with me, handing me items or, you know, selling, giving me something on the flea market. Not that I can use the flea market, but you understand the point. There's two new rules to the hardcore uh, for this season, which is items required for hideout upgrades must be either crafted in the hideout or found in raid. So um, I can do... Any of the crafts in the hideout to actually get, say, corrugated hoses and then use those hoses to craft or to, to upgrade the hideout. 11, you can craft in the hideout. So this is kind of going in with a new system of there being an actual hideout and we can use the hideout to, so we can use the hideout to make it better in, in, in its entirety. Now, there are new rules to the, how money is handled. In the past, it was very different, but for this 
season, it's going to be in raid and task money can be used in the global cash stack. And I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, number 13, in raid task US dollars and it can be used to complete missions. So you can uh, get money from in raid, but also you can, uh, following the next rule, money obtained from leveling dealer reputation will no longer be deleted. It will now be stored and added to the global cash stack to be used for hideout upgrades that require money. You can exchange rubles, US dollars and euros, however you see fit, but you cannot use the money to purchase items from the flea market to upgrade your hideout. The new global cash stack, it's given changes to, uh, with the money storage in containers. So previously you used to have to split money, um, always having money found in raid would stay in your container. So then that way you didn't risk uh, contaminating it with other money from leveling up traders that you would delete. Now you can hold on to all of it. Uh, it's far more sim simplistic and fair to have money obtained from reputation farm. It is far more simplistic and fair to have money obtained from reputation farm in raid and task can be con uh, combined to do clothing upgrades, hideout upgrades, and the armor repairs. So there's a fair few to this. I'll put a link down below to the actual rule set, but it's definitely worth uh, checking them out if you're actually confused about anything. I do stream on Twitch and you can ask me questions over there if you're watching the episodes. I don't want to push on with these points anymore. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. Hardcore moist. That'll do. If only you can fit moisture. Hardcore moist. Well, welcome to the jungle. Hard for the kids. All right, so. Um, what, I wish the bear two sounded better. All right, that's all good. Make sure this is all good. Cool. Um, your work, mate. So this is all has to be deleted now, and I have to sell that to buy a uh, alpha container. There should be an alpha ca container here, right? So, did I see it? Is that it? Who sells the alpha container? I need to find the uh, the alpha container to. Is it Peacekeeper? No. You're thinking about, you're thinking about Bay Container. We're talking about Alpha Containers. Someone definitely sells an Alpha Container. Might be Ragman or something. Well, they made it you can't buy it anymore. Really? All right, until I can get myself an alpha container, I'm just gonna use the four squares on the beta. Oops, I didn't wanna do that. All right, so make sure we set our tasks. So I'm just gonna use those four squares and nothing else, all right? Peacekeeper 3 sells a alpha container. So stupid. Uh, I don't want to spend my whole day examining stuff, but... Um, to give reference to what, uh, what you start with, it's, it's really simple, guys. It's really simple, right? Start with nothing. Up, Pez. Hope the raids are going well. But well, we haven't started yet. So what I'm doing here is I'm pressing U Y U Y U Y. Delete is the default delete key, but I've uh, rebound mine to the U key. I can't buy the alpha container anywhere. That'll do. So it's going to be a pretty rough start, as you can imagine. Um, really hoping I could find 
I could have got the alpha container, but obviously that's not going to happen. All I want to do quickly is examine guns. And I think after I do that, I'll be fine. Guns and magazines. That's, that's all I want to examine. Just in case I pick up a gun and I can't reload it because I didn't examine the magazine. It's nothing worse than that. All right, so let's toss some therapist. Now I'm trying to figure out if I should go reserve first. I just don't want to get charged down by scabs at the start. It's going to make the very first part of the hardcore series really freaking brutal. But I think reserve is probably the best place to find a gun at the start. All right, so um, I've accepted my task and we're going to go into reserve. Wish me luck, guys. Right, strategy, find a gun. What exactly is your goal in this challenge? To get the hideout maxed, except for uh, Intel station and the Bitcoin farm is to level two. How do you keep from getting your YouTube vids flagged for copyright while playing mainstream songs? I don't have music on my YouTube. And the only thing they can go into jackets... Oh, sorry, the only thing they can go into a container is keys. Look at that. I'm just leaving... I'm leaving a line behind already. I'm leaving a lion behind already. Mm. I, need to, I need to get to places where these guns. Real energy. I've been doing, me, doing too many intel runs recently. Alright, weapon crates, weapon crates. Maybe we should go underneath. Let's go to this building. Isn't there a dead scav at the back of this? We don't want to get aggroed by scavs though. And if we get too close to a scav, I'll just run at us. Where are the guns at? I'm not good with these side buildings. I'm not used to it. Holy shit, that has to be scab boss. Imagine if we got to the scab boss in this raid. Have to loot him. Moist. Third floor, you reckon? I'm trying to be methodical a little bit. How come I can't open that? is open. Ooh. Now, was Deadly able to use this to just, like sort stuff? Like for example, if I put that there to un undo that, was Deadly allowed to do it? All right, cool. The sensitivity is so much higher when you're absolutely naked as well. Your BS ammo. Look how much my hydration's already gone down.
gun crate on the other side of the wall. Give us a, uh... You know that's there. We need it. Get okay, hydration later. More hydration there. Alright, give us a gun. Come on, something, something snazzy. Oh, PRS. Really good ammo. I swear to God. That was totally the... Ooh. Where you headed, sir? Ah, oh, where are you going? You're going marked room. Hopefully there's a really shitty gun in the marked room. And he leaves it there for me. Is that is this allowed then? Surely that'd be allowed then. Wait. As long as it doesn't go outside those four squares, yeah. I suppose I could use fuses to buy the grenades as well, hey? No assistance from friends and community. <laughs> I can talk to my chat. No, Bestily, you're not even allowed to talk to us for, for a whole week. I'm sorry, chat. In your chat, you're, my, you're, you're I'm your friend. I'm sorry, friend. A game. Game. All right, we can, we can move again. Well, the roof of domes does have gun spawns. We left it. Oh, let's get a key now, though. Good key. Give me a good key, like. Any. Yep, that, that's a good key. What have we got? Dawn 118. It's not even. It's not even good. We just examine them now. The only thing that can go into containers is keys, guys. Longer so. And you can use, as long as I'm not using the four squares, I can, um, can use it to like manage moving stuff around. Do we go the roof of dome? Do we? What is any weapons spawns down here? I need the cash. Oh, someone's been here. If there's still a guy there, we're fucked.
Did Deadly keep any cheese in that? What happens if he died on his first run? I'm worried now. I, I just thought about that. What happens if I die on my first run? I've got no way to heal in, 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 in what's his name? Got a knife now. Any shitty guns left over? Let me scavenge them. Oh, there could be AKs in here. There could be AKs in here. Nah. Nah. Oh my god. We get a PSO at least. We could go back and pick up that other PSO too. I don't think a PSO goes on this. Nah. I think if there's these two killed here, maybe there's more. The shitty PSO, it's the best PSO I've got right now. Get out with your gains. I ain't getting out unless I get a backpack. Up the Toz Max. I should have picked up the Toz to be honest. Alright, what are the first hideout upgrades I need? I don't believe I need lamps. Yeah, I need to make money to get those first ones actually, don't I? This is such a totally different style of playing. Hopefully there's some grenades here. Fuck off. We need to throw every grenade we find. We need to find 400 grenades. And throw them all. The reason we need to throw 400 grenades is we need to get strength level 3. I think I've got a feeling we're going to get strength leveled up a little bit quicker because we're going to have to do some... There's going to be some times where we're like, alright, we're going in with the crowbar and we're just going to be like, whammying people. Don't really need cloth. We're definitely going to need lots of screws. Alright. How are the headaches going past? They're really good today. Better? They're really good today. Like I haven't had one all, all day so far, so I'm really I'm really hoping it's the uh the end of them. I'll put either of these on, unfortunately. There's no point looting anymore until I can find myself a backpack or a better gun. Or a better rig. There was so much shooting out there, there has to be more more scavs. That we can scavenge. The other option here is we just literally extract. We head start heading towards the um the manhole. I don't really want to loot the helicopter. I don't really feel like there's anything to gain from the helicopter.
The only reason I want to go in there is in case the scav boss was in there with all that shooting that went down. We could check for an SVD on the roof. Oh, I'll give that one a go. That sounds like a solid plan. I think there's a couple of weapon crates on the roof, to be honest. Need to use the MRE yet. Get going. Love your content. Keep it up. Thanks, dude. We'll be TMO. Maybe I do just extract. I don't know. I, don't, I do have two guns, but they're not very good. Getting nervous, you know. Good day from the Lucky Valley, QLD. I missed the SVD. No, I did not. Where was it? Just send it. Want under the tent. There is no SVD. Thanks for the tutorials. I would have never figured this game out without them. Also, any idea when the next wipe is coming? If you guys are trolling me with this tent, with this SVD, it'll be the end of you. There's none under here, and there's no other tent. You're banned. You're no longer my friends. Join ad. to believe I find it so hard to believe all that shooting went down and it was just two scams Shitty key though. Maybe a key did, he didn't want.
realized how many computers were in this map. I can't believe I haven't found any guns in these crates. Two months what you've helped heaps trying to figure this game out. Keep doing your thing looking forward for more to come. Thanks, dude. So we have options. Look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna leave them behind. I don't even want them. Crash items. We could go kill scavs and try and get a, a bit of a loadout happening. Or we play the safe option and get out. Music to my ears. And also my birthday. I don't want that. It'd be really annoying if I left a rain. Hey, man, 20 months already. Amazing how much you've done for my May time fists. He is so amazed about all that happened. I think mod payments have issues again. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so, looks like you're gone. I think that's what I want to do. Is this risky? <laughs> I'm dead. Come on, make it worth my while. In here. Let's see. What I need now is a backpack or Keep up or the something. Good work, big man. I don't need. I don't need. I need more items. I just need to kill a scav. We'll get a better gun. Pistol. I came out of nowhere. Could have hurt. I hear someone on my left. What well done? <laughs> oh, yes, look at that rig. Oh man, if we want to take the duffel bag... Uh... Oh, he's pressed the button. I could probably beat him out.
All right, let's talk about this for a second. Duffel bags would be nice, but we've got two guns here. We fuck that off. What else do we have left? That? I think I think we just we just bail. Get a call back on chat. Well, that was a radar. I think. Rains here too. Who do you pee from? Oh, go, 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 on. Do you need that? I this guy had a really good rig on. Look at this guy's rig. I thought it was a radar because they had that rig on. One one eight four, nice. Oh, gas analyzer. It's gonna be good for an early quest too. Okay, nice.
Was that already searched? If I can, I want to try and get a key every like as many keys as I can every raid. Bot on AK, you're right. Oh, that was a really nice run. Wowza. That went really smoothly. Except for you guys trolling me. That was really mean. And I hate you guys for that. Oh. The reason why I didn't take the backpack then, guys, is like, you can't take the backpack out of the sewer extract. And I wasn't overly keen to go out the, uh, out the train. That would have been really rough. So I decided against it. I'd rather have, like, it's like, you know, the, the bird in hand is worth two in the bush mentality. I'd rather not get shafted straight away. Oh, we, didn't we didn't get level five. We're close, though. I could get level five if I started examining everything on, like, the flea market or something, but... All right, so... I'm going to try Hi and keep guys. this stash Welcome nice and tidy, stream. so we'll see how this Without goes. Ado, for ammo. Straight into it. For ammo here. Barter items are all going to be down the very bottom. All right, so like this item, this item. I might hold on to that, onto that for the quest. I don't know yet. I don't know if I need any for the hideout, but anything that's like a barter item is all going to be purely down the bottom. I'm going to need lots of bolts and screws. And I know some of you guys were freaking out. Like, why isn't he getting the bolts and screws? Why is he getting the bolts and screws over something else? And I was just like, nice. you guys got to understand that. Um, that bolts and screws are like. Used so much in the hideout. I can't remember gas analyzer used in the hideout at all. But we need it for a quest at least. So we'll be doing some of the quests as we go as well. Um, clothing items, I can use that to sell to, uh, to, to vendors. I'll probably keep the entire, like, top bit for, for vendors. So, um, you can trade masks for, uh, for, for hackers, I believe. Free for a packer, but see how we go with that. Oh, we have one spare mag there. What ammo was in a PS? Oh, P.S. Good old on. Not really sure what you're going to want to take in the next raid. It's nice that we got some meds, though. I'm actually going to hold off on the meds of taking him in the raid. Um, this is actually a quest item, so I'm going to put this down at the bottom with the barter items for now. Mm, so, guns and mods... Mods can be all down here. We don't need any of these keys if we go back to reserve. We're probably going to do a couple of reserve runs to build up a bit of a, a collection of shit. Um, the coal pack. <laughs> I'm probably just going to sell. I can't imagine needing it for anything decent. 
I'll just have to do I, do I have enough cash to repair it? I do. So so let me get this right. I can repair and sell and stuff, right? Let's have the rules state. So I'll put the cash in the middle. That can be vended. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna use packers or not. So we'll repair this. So we can sell it. We'll hold on to them for now. That's a massive rig. Oh, glorious. All right, we'll keep this here in case we like get out of a ray with a broken leg or something. All right, I think that's all I need for that. Um, five. If we'd got one more uh, level, we could have unlocked the, the quest from Skia to get Tozzers. And I should have collected the Toz for that too. Oh, it's just difficult. It's so, it's so, I don't know the word. You're paranoid because a single death then would have had to start all over again. The people asking about the container, all you can use is the four squares of the standard account and it has to be um, keys only. Keys are the only thing that's allowed in there. How do you clear the handbook notifications? Just literally press that button right there. Press the number. You could run Hunter with a mags in pockets with no rig. The thing about that doing that though, which is not a bad idea, is reserve doesn't have many scavs. Right. All right, everything examined. Whereas like you kind of go into reserve and um and just get all the um all the items that are around. I'm gonna switch this over to BT. Hi guys, welcome to my stream. And without further do ado, this. let's crack straight into it. All right. Let's get into another raid. No need to, you can't insure anyway. Oh, a tongue twister. I think, I think there's something up here. I think it's a grenade box though. Vog 12 has no use right now. Thanks for quality content and great community smile. Thanks, dude. Are used for crafting with the 40 mils. That's when that's new. We could get in the night buildings and do a quick loot. I'd totally be down for like a really short raid. Like an in and out kind of raid, get get topped up on some more items if we can. The last one was like a 40 minute raid. I never do that long. of hardcore. Nice. I, this, that's the beauty of hardcore, though. Oh, that's lame. Can't take it. I need, like, a black rock. Need motors, though. 
I also need items that sell for a lot. So, like, the communication signal device things. I'm going to need to grab some of them because... I need a, I need dollars or so. I need rubles to... um. I need rubles to uh, get the starting hideout upgrades. Get the hideout cranking, you know? You know med there was med spawns in there. Oh, we could really get some solid amount of items here. Use some of these filing cabinets. Get the uh, get some keys. Talk of stream it alone from or just sit back and relax with great content. Thanks, Keep dude. up the awesome work. Three jackets in here. Ooh. That's gonna be really nice. That's gonna be really nice. Request later. That's one of the storage cages down underneath the reserve. If we're after, like, whatever it is, that will be. Like, there'll be either med spawns in there or. Like, that could be our med way. Our way to get meds. Oh, that could be great. I don't know what to, I don't know which one it is. I don't actually remember, so I know PS ammo is not the best, but we've got to build up a bit of collection of ammo. And there will be some shorter raids, guys. Like, I'm actually half tempted to get out of this one with all this gear. To build up a bit of a stockpile. What did you come from? Does it have the rail on it too? It does. I actually put a sword on that. That's tempting.
can't see myself taking that. Get rid of those two. Just take one spare mag. Now that can sit like that. Get rid of that. What I'm feeling right here, chat, is I, is I extract and restart the raid. That's what I'm th thinking. Oh, meds is going to be so brutal. But I really want to get both these items. At least, at least the screws. Release the screws. Get ourselves another gun. We need to build that, that basis. Like, we need a few guns. So if I die a couple in a row... Got a gun for each time. Oh, bolts. I want those bolts. All right, what do we get rid of? Get rid of the matches. What do matches trade for? Painkillers. Mm, probably should have got, kept them. Fifteen for fuel? That's actually pretty good. That's actually a pretty good trade. Maybe I need to hold on to matches then. Very close to level five as well. Can't believe we got that key. Can't believe we got that key. That's a, that's a massive thing. All right, we need to figure out also what we're going to sell to vendor in order to get... in order to get um, some of these upgrades started. Do you reckon, is this actually like, is this, is this actually used for something? I've never seen it used for anything. Sugar, it's definitely a trade for sugar. Hey. Use hey battery battery ammo. I'm really happy that it's got a heap of BT ammo as well. The largest amount of ammo for that, but at the same time, now put this on it. We actually have a decent like that's a load out there, you know, like. 
that with the gun. Um, we don't need that many mags. That, but we'll put the mags here. I don't really want to take any health in with me. I don't really want to take the Vaseline in with me. Kill a start. I really want to check out what this key has in it. You know what I mean? I really want to go in there and find out what's in there. Might do that. I think it could be really, really good. Yeah. Again. All right. Go. Sorry. I didn't think this is actually going to be really good for killing scams too. Um. So from here, do we go underneath? I think, I think we go. I think we go under. Imagine, imagine if we get another key under here. Oh my god, that'd be incredible. There's no SPD in the room. Key spawn over here, and no key. I don't think there's anything else that spawns in this room. Could be wrong. Key spawn over here. Okay. Search these filing cabinets. Use some quiet. Without interruption. They're <laughs> all empty. Ah, uh, the Raven is marked from this new streamer item. him in the head, right? Oh, I hit him in the head! I saw his head bounce! What? And I wasn't sure if that left got- the thing on the left was... 
I wasn't sure if the thing on the left was him or just like part of like like a machinery on the on the side. But as soon as he moved, it was obviously. Oh, well, these things happen. The axe, five hits, dual blood armor. Ah, uh, you can't do scav runs. No, not at all. Crap ammo. I'd be TMO. Right. Um. Oh. Do we fully heal? Oh. All right. What do we do? What are our options? What's a good map that we could go on to? What, what's a map we can go on to and with the full objective of just getting some, some armor and stuff? I kind of feel like maybe Woods is the play here. We've got a Vepa Hunter. We could take those long-range shots. Think about. Any change isn't good for scavs. If we go factory, we're using the Vepa Hunter. All right, let's 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 try and double down. Not going in full health with a Vepa Hunter. Sorry, a Vepa and a and and ten round mag. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, I kind of feel like it's not the play. If I'm going to go for... Oh. The main thing I'm after is rigs, but I want it to be like... I want to get backpacks and rigs. Let's, I want to try and rat factory like this. Yeah, I know I'm wounded, mate. Give it a go. Go. Still eating healthy? Yep. The thing I want to do is get away from that spawn. Where's the man? Serious? I didn't actually think there'd be someone there for, for two reasons. One re one main reason. Love Boys. what you are doing for the kids. Um, the Mosin guy at the top was shooting, and I thought he was shooting at another player, but obviously he was shooting at a scav. Just un unlucky. It wasn't a Val. I think it was the uh, MP MP nine, the f the the nine by nineteen one. All right, going back to the original plan. My God, where we are. We're going to be hurting here. Just stock up on meds. We just have to go here. We have to. GGS. Should have healed my head then, though. That's so lame. I prefer coffee or tea. I like both. I have both. What do you think about ADS leveling strength? Nah. I think too many people would just go into raids and just hold just AFK while AD ADSing. Either everyone would just be like, all right, I'm going to have my lunch now. A little bit risky a move.
There's two spawns, one right here and one down the far end. I've actually been up here. Can't see anyone. My plan is to go underground and get meds. I don't really want to go the high traffic areas, but I, I kind of need to go around the map to get there. i to take a minute just to quickly check. Man, hardcore can be rough. I know often I die to people that are camping out the back here waiting for someone to go to the, to the staircases. Wait a little bit longer. We could check out that building there for meds. But unfortunately, I made too many bloody guards telling people to go there that it's very high traffic now. I think we stick with the plan.
we've got to quickly to um the scabs before we head that way. If we can see a scab, we can pick them off. They? Started there. Interested to see which key I actually got. I don't know why I'm checking for paracord, seeing I can't even uh, loot it. Which one's my key for? Maybe you left some meds. Oh, it's this one that's the one I open, hey? So this is food. Look at all the food. If, if they've only looted this one cage and fucked off, I'm going to be so annoyed. I swear to God, something's trolling me. Hundred percent. We take everything. Everything. you die we're killed by whom on the ground near the box. Oh, yeah. Would 
We could deliberately level metabolism here. So that one reduces hydration, and this one reduces hydration. So what we can do is use both of these to reduce my hydration. Very slowly. Pop it back up. Where the fuck killed this guy? All the cages are open. We're gonna be taking everything. Anything you don't want, mate. Matches? Gold. Bolts? Gold. Who's gold? Gimme a mole. Did I miss a condensed milk, did I? USB adapters. I don't actually know anything that they, they are used for. Love how Battlestar Games made cigarettes out of the rations. Makes me happy. Hey Pest, your YouTube intro scares the shit out of my cats. Keep up the great work. Love you. Well, there's like an AI too that he was like. That was my hunter. It's trash. All right, priorities. I don't think we need TP. I don't think we need magnets. Can't remember needing crickets. Why would I need crickets? I don't remember any high hot air upgrade that needs crickets. Fuel? Really? So maybe I don't need cigarettes then. Is there any trades that I don't need that I need cigarettes for? The Malboros. Oh, it's bad habit. I can get them later for bad habit. Come on. That was a jerk. I bet you there was an AI too and he was like, nah. Here we go. That's a good start. I don't need more painkillers. We can take these ones. I 
don't need ultraviolet lamps. I feel like I need wrench over soap for the hideout more. I need to make like a shopping list. I think one thing they could really add to Tarkov that would really be nice is do you remember in, in Fallout how you could like specific kind of items that you need? You could have them highlighted, like just a little marker on it. It could literally just be like an X on the on the bottom left corner. It's nice enough to leave me his contacts. Mm, we need that. All right, what are we getting rid of? What are we getting rid of? I'm guessing the wrench at the moment. And the hunter match. Hobbits are going to Weisengard, guard, guard. The hobbits are going, the hobbits are going, the hobbits are going to Weisengard, guard, guard. This map gets pillaged so friggin' hard. It's like... You can literally just hide for the first 20 minutes. And every door and, and window and crevice will be opened for you. I don't know if the roof will give much of a better angle without getting roof getting smacked from somewhere else. My theory is he's going to go out the left hand side. I mean, I'll have all this opportunity here. I do have this window here. I'm not going to be able to take that out. Why is his arm so, like, wanked up? 
This won't one shot that. What have we got? BPZ FMJ. back inside again. Shut the door. We just get past that truck. They're running back in and out. What they're doing? Yeah, I reckon they killed someone outside and they're trying to bring all the loot inside to, to sort it. Options here: get higher ground so when they do go outside, we might be able to snap them. The, whatever they're picking up, they're picking it up quick. We also want to keep an eye out. Then going out on the left hand side, we can smack them as they're running right to left. We do only have eleven shots. I'm tempted to go on the roof, but at the same time, I don't really want to. Because at the same time, it uh, it's, it, it will give me slightly better angles. It will also make me very exposed to other angles. And I, well, I got a small uh, shot at... Uh, let's just do it real quick. There's no real spot that I can sit. I'm not super fucking exposed. I'm not jumping across. We're about to go out the other side. Do I just see someone on the hill? No. We both ran over to that side. Not expecting that. I heard a small noise. I, I actually heard a noise before I got in there, and I was like, "Maybe someone's moving around downstairs." And then, legit, I just walked out of that room. I walked out of that room, went upstairs, come back down, and he's there. I was I was in that room previously, wasn't I? I'm not tripping balls here, right? How did he get into that room while it was up top? <sighs> Used the door. What? That's so lame. 100% that's so lame. How did he sneak all the way there? Well, back to no guns, guys. Back to no guns. I'm gonna go take this in. Because there's our best map to get a gun.
factory. I'm going in with factory with no gun. Scouts are going to charge me, and I don't have any gun to protect myself. At least I need to go have a pistol to go into factory. I'll do one more reserve. All right, I'm going to quickly run downstairs. Grab a uh, grab my water bottle, and then um, we'll go back into it. One sec, guys. So, guys, thanks for watching another episode of the Hardcore series. There's an episode coming out every day, same time. If you want to check it out live on Twitch, feel free to go down the link below. And lastly, guys, I'll see you next time.